Our world is rapidly changing. Let's say I'm in an unfamiliar neighborhood and I get lost. Just a few years ago, I would have spent hours wandering around. Today, all I have to do is pick up my smartphone. An app like New York Subway shows me if there are stations nearby and even shows me which way to walk to get there. If I need something translated, no problem. Word Lens replaces the text in my view with my own language. And in the future, will it be possible for us to do this? Get information about anyone in an instant? A paradigm shift is taking place right before our eyes. The real world and the virtual are merging. It's called augmented reality. And you can experience it with the help of hundreds of apps on your smartphone. But one day soon, Companies like Google, the internet search giant, think all this information will be delivered in revolutionary new ways. This is Glass, a very different type of computing and communication device. Think of Google Glass as a wearable smartphone. Can I try it? Yeah, you can put it on if you like. Cool. But lighter and quicker to access. Oh, wow. Right now, Glass is a work in progress. I can just flick my eyes into this corner, and I see a very crisp screen the little square you see glowing here is actually a tiny computer screen. Google hopes that in the not too distant future, it will bring us our email, show us our text messages, and provide access to the internet. And the tiny camera here will be a new way to share your experiences with friends. So this is wild. So I'm, I'm seeing a beautiful path through a woods. As I turn my head, I'm actually looking around the scene. Oh, and I can even look down and up. Wow, those are beautiful. But Google Glass is just the tip of the iceberg. Researchers like Henry Fuchs at the University of North Carolina are developing technologies that blend the virtual and physical worlds, augmenting our reality with the stuff of sci-fi movies. So this is one of the labs, David, that we have set up to work on augmented reality and telepresence. So as I understand it, this is like in Star Wars when Princess Leia gets beamed out of R2-D2's head Remember that famous scene where Princess Leia records a hologram of herself and sends it to Obi-Wan Kenobi? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. That was all special effects. What we hope to develop here is the real thing. And that's as hard as it looks. First, I put on these stylish shades. Is that too tight? Nope. Once we're set up, we're ready to roll. We pretend Henry is on vacation in his beach house in Hawaii while I'm stuck in my office here in New York. And suddenly... Wow, if my goggles don't deceive me, that's you sitting across from the table from me. Wonderful, that's just the effect that we would like. Wow, so that's crazy. You look the right height, size, shape, and angle as though you're actually sitting right in front of me. I have to admit, it's the closest I've ever come to having a conversation with a hologram although the image is far from perfect. So this is the Model T we're wearing right oh, now. Oh, we're not even Model T. Not even Model this, T. Oh, no, no. This is like, you know, 20 years before the Model T. But the technology needed to create this illusion is anything but 20th century. In order for Henry and me to see each other, he's rigged our rooms with a bunch of 3D cameras. They are, in fact, Xbox Connects. With the help of some sophisticated software, they transport his virtual image into my stunning handcrafted headset. And these little silver balls that make us look like aliens are part of a complex tracking system that pinpoints where we are in space. There's one serious problem with the video, though. Yes. It looks like you're wearing a hideous, obnoxious Hawaiian shirt of some kind. <laughs> in the future, telepresence systems like this one could come in handy. And wearable smartphones, like Google Glass, may give us a new way to access the virtual world. 